tonight on Garage Time, we're doing a video. I actually, or we actually contemplated if this was even worth making a video of. However, we're always surprised. Videos we think are gonna be like a big blow up video and break the internet, get like two views. And then videos we think that aren't gonna be anything, people get all excited about. So I guess you'll be the judge and let us know. But tonight what we're doing is, we're almost done, but we're bringing you in at the end here. So. The internet spoke, decided stock wheels is the way to go for our uh, 64 Deluxe. So, like most stock wheels, the tabs for the hubcaps are broken, damaged, missing all together. So it's, it's a very tedious process, hence we brought you in at the last rim. These ones you can see have all been replaced. We've put... Uh, new tabs on. So what we have to do is in a case like this, drill it out, put in the new one, which we have a bunch of right here, put in the new one and then uh, rivet it in place. Now, some people might not like our technique. The original rivets that Volkswagen used were the pound in style, right? So you put this on, Put it through and then put it through and then on the other side smash it flat a little bit. Um, I found that extremely hard and awkward. Even you could see getting this in was a pain in the butt. So we've decided we went out and bought some stainless steel rivets. Now the concern is you need a flat mounting surface at the back. Now you do have a little bit of a divot from Volkswagen in the rim itself. And if I flip over the one that's completed, you can see that these are pretty flush. But second to that, sitting here, Second to that, the way we're mounting with the adapter plates, because we've switched to the 944 braking system, we're even better off because our plates have tons of clearance with the rivets. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's, there's lots of space there. We're not touching, so um, we have no issues. Obviously, if you're mounting on a stock rim, Check to make sure that's flat. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, notch and drill out and show you using a rivet gun. All right, so first step, obviously, we need to put our punch on. Make a bit of a divot. Now, all I'm trying to do there is give my drill a spot so it doesn't slip and slide all over the place. Now I'm starting out with a smaller drill bit. Now that I've got that, I'm gonna get a bigger drill bit. Drill and punch that out. So I've got a bigger drill, it's about the size of the head of the rivet there. Okay, that should be enough. And with my punch. With my punch, we've removed, removed the old rivet, okay? So, next step. Put your new rivet and clip on. Okay, now notice I'm gonna have the bulky side or 
yeah, the bulky side is the best word I can come up with for now. On the interior, because I'm not worried about clearance on that side with the hubcap. Okay, so now that that's started and everything is in position, let's put it down. A lot of people would be using a nice pneumatic. This, this rivet and riveting tool has been around for 20, 25 years. And uh, that's the trick. Now these being stainless steel, you could see the tension I was putting on it. I'm actually surprised I haven't broke my uh, old riveting tool, but um, yeah, it's working. So one more to go and another task is complete. These have been painted white, but uh, they are gonna be sandblasted and painted the same white as the top of the vehicle when it goes in for paint. So that's why we are working and finishing off this job now as well, is it's one of the last things we're doing and prep for paint. So you saw how that flew. I'm trying to do it away from my face. So if you hold on a second, I'm gonna grab a hubcap, show you the finished product. So here we go, brand new shiny hubcap. Nice and solid, looks awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you out there.